Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger Single Character Challenge. After a night of heavy drinking... Ahem, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, we are exploring... some mysterious, technologically advanced world. Whether it's... our world in the future, or not. And we're being talked to from across the room. And of course we're like, yeah, we just came from the West. It's not like they're like being old cannibal people. And yeah. And they're like, holy shit, you came from across the rooms? Joking. There are people who can beat up those freaking mutants. That's impossible. Ugh. Alright, so let me check my stats. Alright, we're good. As we went down to the food storage below, I haven't seen him since. Huh, I wonder if he died. Yes. Uh huh, sure you do. Well, that's unfortunate. Hello, Doan. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe he died. No, he just died of starvation. There's no lunatic robots in the area. No way. Stay off of Death Peak. Well, that sounds like a lovely place. Talk about crackpots. He must be extremely powerful. Dynamite? Well, budget. We have dynamite? Oh, I want dynamite. Yeah, I have money. So here we can get um, iron, if we didn't get it before. Basically, this person has the same exact inventory as the other person. The guy who walked to the other dome used to say... Yeah, he lived too. So let's save. Yeah, people are just joking around. They're, the mutants aren't deadly or anything, so of course we're going to go down below. Um, we don't have to, but... Well, I mean, yeah, we actually have to, but it doesn't tell you so much yet, but... Yeah, come back alive. Don't get yourself killed. Basically, we're supposed to go down here and help the people out and run over here. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VI, I'm not gonna lie. Which is a very good game, by the way. And here we see a rat that's a statue. And it says, anyone within vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. So, obviously, we're going to be attacked. And that's really loud and annoying. And it's time for a boss. That's right. I wonder what's going on. Huh. So this is Guardian. And he summons two little bits. Now the nice idea to do when fighting this boss is that you want to kill one of the bits. You don't want to kill both of them. You just want to kill one. And make sure your health is at least above 100 for this fight because if the bits are not, if one of the bits is still, if both the bits are still alive, then they will do a triple move and it is very damaging and we don't want that to happen because we're trying to live. <clears throat> Believe it or not, we want our party members to die. We don't want to die ourselves. Amplifier isn't that big of a move. Um, still a pain in the ass, but anyway, after defeating one of the bits, we want to go straight for the Guardian. Unfortunately, yes, you have that counter-attack to worry about, but if you follow along, keep your health up, we should be fine. Of course, it would be nice to kill the girl, but no, nah, that's, that's alright. Maybe I should have level grinded a little more for this. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to survive, actually. This might not end well. Fast forward. Yeah, we're dead. Well, uh, that went horrible. But that's the single character challenge for you. We're going to die a lot. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the runes and level grind a little more. So I'll be back after I've done that, and we'll try that boss one more time, so... Yes, we're going down. Shut up. Go away. 
Nope, go away, go away, go away. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I'll see you all in a little bit. After I actually get this to... But you know what? Actually, after realizing that, uh... Going back to the Lab 16 won't actually do me any good, I figured, why not just go to the sewer access? We've been there before, and there's a freaky little monster, and we hear about Sir Crawley. Was he knighted? I don't know. And here we have some really disgusting looking thingy majiggers. Kind of like cracked eggs. Regardless, they're still really ugly looking. And we're not actually, we're kind of under leveled for this, but this is probably going to be a lot easier than fighting that other guardian boss. So we're going to go ahead, uh, Slash is very effective on these guys, as you can obviously see. So we're going to do that another time. Dual hitting for the win. And... Get this guy in half. Oh, come on. There we go. See, even that's not that much experience, but oh well. We'll, we'll survive. Cyclone doesn't do anything. Don't you love when I just speed things up and get the bat battle over with? I mean, it really does help things out. And here we see some frogs that are talking to each other. I wonder if they're descendants of our frog guy. And they're talking about how there's a bridge here, but not anymore, and... Apparently, one of the frogs is named Boss. So, yes, Frog Mafia. Choip. A Kami reference for the win. Well, actually, more like Sugar Conroy reference, but still. How is this spooky? Ugh. Um, anyway. Hey, look, a cat. We're not going to be, uh. Oh, here. Okay. I wonder if that's Chrono's cap. Oh dear. Apparently it wasn't Chrono's cap. It was a trap and we just got electrocuted. Jesus Christ. Any day now, come on. Now. See, that's one of the only problems about the single character count, is that it does take a little while. Okay, there we go. So you'll have to excuse me if I do do some skipping every once in a while. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to do all these fights. They're basically the same thing. You hit something, or touch something, and you end up fighting a battle, so well, I'm just going to do all this, I'll meet you right back here. Did I ever say that I absolutely hate this dungeon? Well, in case you don't, if you're playing a single character challenge, this dungeon is very, tif very difficult. Um, I definitely recommend using your uh, Cyclone and Slashes whenever possible to get the most hits as possible. Because these guys are really freaking hard. Just telling you. Let's do another slash. And I'll take extremely long, but... Alright, so... Ugh, I hate this place. <sighs> so anyway, we walk over here and there's a secret passage. Which you can kind of see. Press that button, and that opens that door. 
talking a million miles per minute, and we can't go over there. So what are we supposed to do? Well, we move back here. Oh, uh, did you see that? Yeah. And you're actually supposed to go down. I didn't know that part. When I first played, I got extremely um, lost trying to find a place here. And this dungeon isn't actually very... It's not required. At least not yet. You do have to go through here at some point, but at that point it really doesn't matter. And you're very overleveled. And here we get the Rage Band. One of my favorite um, accessories, especially in this game. Because of the character challenge, you can rarely hit enough. And... The Rage Band makes it so that you can counterattack at a 50% chance, and that is, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, we're going to do a little bit of abusing here. We're going to save state, because, well, it's boss time! Yep, that's Sir Crawley over there. And they're laughing as if we are not right there. And they're going a little over. Um, yeah. So, of course, the guard runs off, and he's like, Oh, shit, huh? Oh, hey there. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure this guy can kill me in one hit. This might not have the boss music, but in this case, I would very much consider Sir Crawley to be a boss. He is actually very um, threatening. Because you see that one damage. We want to keep our health up as high as possible. If he hits you, heal automatically. Just do it. Because, well, that move he's doing right there. It has a chance of doing, like, no damage. It also has a chance of doing extremely high damage. I'm not sure how that works, but, uh... Yeah, it can... It, last time I was playing this single character challenge, I did try it before. I never got very far, because I just never had the time for it. Uh, this guy killed me in one hit. And there's our rage counter. Right there. Very nice. It'll help out immensely. Well, let's just see what happens. Uh, I guess I'm considering myself to be extremely lucky because he hasn't killed me yet. Because if I die, if Chrono dies, that counts as game over for some character challenge. But hey, I got insanely lucky and we killed him. How awesome is that? Phew. And we get five tech points and a mid ether, which will be very good for the later stages of this game. So let's continue. And we get ambushed. Great. Did I ever tell you guys I absolutely hate those little thingamajiggers? They're an extreme pain in my ass. Uh, kill the Nereids first, because they can do a lot of damage if they get the chance while the Edgars are more not my problem. And we're going to cyclone these guys. See how that works. I know they're weak against Slash. I don't know about Cyclone, though. Yeah, they're not really weak against Cyclone. But still, it hits them both, so... And there's our Rage Counter, once again. Being very useful. And there we go. Okay, that battle's over and done with. I'm tired of taking extremely long battles, but I should get used to it because I'm playing a single character challenge and boss fights are going to be just as long, if not longer. Extremely longer, actually. So we go over here, and we get the Bolt Sword. Very nice. We want that sword. That's the main reason we came here, other than the Rage Band. Look at that increase. Four, three damage. You might not think that's a lot. It actually is. And it's Lightning Elemental. 
which means it's going to do a lot of damage against those fish people over there. So that's Death Peak, and here's where the old man lives, Keeper's Dome. And I love the music here, it's so depressing. 